Jonathan, as we know, we have to drive on these roads every single day. And as you all know, thousands of cars roll along Atlanta's highways. And it is not uncommon for Atlanta traffic expert Crash Clark to warn you about those jams. Yeah, that's true. But recently, he also saw something different on his way home. Members of the homeless community crawling up into spaces. This was in one of those bridges. I, I didn't understand what I was seeing when I was making the turn from City Marcus Boulevard onto the Buford Spring Connector. I looked up at one of the overpasses, and sure enough, somebody was sneaking into what appeared to be a crawl space mm. inside the interstate. I didn't even know they were hollow to begin with. You know there's a lot of those homeless camps that have been set up over there off that area. But we sent Bobeth uh, Yates out there to investigate this. Uh, it's just amazing. She's on the site where I saw this happen near the interchange, Sydney Marcus Boulevard and Beaufort Highway. Bobeth, what did you learn once you started looking into this? Well, Crash, you're exactly right. I'm here at the intersection of Sydney Marcus Boulevard and Buford Highway, and behind me is that yellow trash can or neon green trash can that you mentioned that you saw above it, a four by four hatch to get inside the bridge crawl space. And within the last 30 minutes, I got an email from APD confirming that their officers have encountered homeless people going inside these spaces. And as we investigated, we realized just how bad it actually is. Now, as we drove around the area, we passed the connector and our cameras were rolling when we saw a different person exiting the cross space of a bridge. We even saw ladders and carts and other items piled up under the hatches for people to get inside. The issue has many word the situation could lead to a bridge collapse similar to the one in 2017 when a section of I-85 fell after a massive fire. But officials tell us that they are aware of the problem and and they're working to solve it. People are trying to climb inside the crawl space. We have elevated that issue to um, the Georgia Department of Transportation and they are aware of it. Um, they are working to secure those locations. Now, APD in their email also told us within the last two days, they have conducted operations where they have gone with GDOT employees that are supposed to be using the hatch to check the safety and security of the bridge. And then they've discovered homeless people, removing those people. Now, coming up at six, I have more details on this effort and also a $2.4 million grant to an organization that is helping to relocate people that are living on or inside the bridges. Sending it back to you. Well, Beth, thank you so much. And I'm glad that she mentioned that point because we have to remember that while a lot of us have a place to go home that is warm, a lot of people don't. Right. And people are doing whatever they can just to stay warm. But sometimes they put themselves in harm's way. And others, perhaps, if there was some sort of issue with the bridge. So good thing that you spotted that. Yeah, and, and I mean, that was my biggest concern. How many folks are up there and what would happen if a fire were to start up there mm -hmm. with all that material and then there was only one small way to get out. All so right. hopefully there's a resolve. Yeah, for sure. We're going to see Bo Beth later in our newscast for